So tell me a little bit about um, what, what's been going on here when you started and when you, what you're up to here. Started early last year. Uh, we had a big field out here and done all the infrastructure, took all the dirt off, put all the foundation in here, uh, all the wires, all the work, raceways, all the, everything you see that's going on out here and building the new uh, 462 megawatt quick start simple cycle uh, plant running on getting all natural gas. Uh, they're aero derivative turbines driving it from Siemens, so they're quick start, they'll start in 10 minutes. I can go from zero to full load in 10 minutes. Um, you know, we're in various stages of having it done from unit six down here almost complete all the way to unit 12, which is farther from being completed. We have them all done this year. Um, have them hopefully in service. And uh, what else? How many people are working on the site? Right now, we've got uh, 350 people on site. Uh, if you go through the life of the project, we've had well over a thousand people here on site working. Uh, we've got stuff in here from all over the world, from uh, China to Texas to all over the U.S. to the U.K. to Canada. Uh, all different types of pieces of equipment in here. Okay. So tell me about how this new plant compares to the old plant built in the fifties. Well, you've got a 1950s technology, so you got a 1950 Chevy. I'm giving you a 19 or 2017 Chevy. So we used to have a lot of valves and brass pipes and stuff. It's all electronic now. Everything's driven from the control room. It's all electronic. Uh, it's 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 a lot more complicated as far as technical wise. If you're a computer guru, you're gonna love it out here. Then um, why is this a good location to kind of generate power? Uh, we're right in the heart of Oklahoma City, so we already had a substation that was here that feeds all over the over, all over the Oklahoma City area and all over Oklahoma, and the plant's right here, so we're able to respond from our load center, you know, tanker downtown Oklahoma City position, we can bring the plant up and help direct them real quickly. Yeah, and then you're not running all units all at the same time, one or two could be running. We can run more. anywhere from one at half load to all seven at full load and any combination in between. And how's it going to work in terms of just when it's ready, how many people will be here on site to monitor stuff and get stuff ready to go? Uh, total people on site will be 14 or 15. They'll be anywhere from two to four on the shift. Uh, one guy's always going to be in the control room in case we get a call to start or in case things are running in there. And then the other guy's out there doing monitoring or doing whatever his daily duties are. Okay. 